All right, this next tip is gonna be a really quick one, but I wanna mention it because it could be really, really good, but also very frustrating if you don't know what it is or how to use it. So it is the precision mode in the Wacom tablets. Let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so here we are in ZBrush, and this is just a quick sketch that I'm starting to, to refine some volumes. Um, let's say that you know I do a line like this, and it's a little bit wobbly, or it's not like a straight line. So I can do a couple of things that are specific to the software that I'm using, ZBrush, which is the lazy mouse. Um, so it just has that, this sort of like red string that you see um, that sort of like follows the line. So that allows me to have more control. It's very similar to something that you also have in Photoshop. But the reason I'm showing you this is because you can actually assign a precision mode to your tablet. Um, and it could be a little bit frustrating if you don't know or, or if you accidentally turn that on, uh, because it is impossible to turn off. You have to restart the computer unless you can click on the precision mode button again. So you have to be very, very careful. All right, so let me just go ahead and bring the precision mode so that you can see what I mean. Um, maybe let's go ahead and get closer here and maybe work on the, on the eyelids of this character. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my custom radial menu, right? And you see I have this red mode or this red button that is the precision mode. So if I click on this thing, now, this is gonna create this tiny little window. But now, if I just go ahead and hover over, you see that my mouse doesn't really match where the pen is. So you might think, okay, what's the point of precision mode if whenever I click, the mouse is not where this should be? Now, this is the thing that you need to understand. Like if you don't know how this works and you see precision mode and is not as precise, you might be a little bit frustrated. But in fact, it's actually very precise. What happens is that uh, Wacom is gonna take this tiny window and it's gonna map the entirety of your Wacom device. So basically, if I wanna go to this corner right here uh, with the mouse, so you see my pen is in this corner, but the mouse is in here. I actually need to go all the way to the corner of my actual device to, go, to have it in there. So the idea is that this allows you to work on a tiny area in a precise um, area of whatever you're working on, but you have the entirety of the of the real estate of your Wacom device. Uh, so that allows you to have like more, you know, more control, more precision in, in certain areas. Now, the reason why I said it is very important that you know how to turn it off is because you have to have access to the same button that you um, that you enable it with. So if I hover over here and I click on my radial menu, you see, I still have access to this, right? So I have to actually go over here to click on, play on, on that mode and I turn it off. Now, if you go ahead and enable precision mode, right? But if you don't have any way to access that button, it is impossible to turn it off. <laughs> so you have to go ahead and restart or, or whatever. So just make sure that you either assign that precision mode to one of your uh, express keys or a shortcut or something like that so that you can turn it off. For me, in my case, uh, I just go ahead and click on that uh, button right here and it just turns it off. So it could be very, very frustrating if you don't know what it is, but it could also be very, very powerful if you know how to use it properly. And the cool thing is that this precision mode works in absolutely any software. So if I switch back to Photoshop, for example, and I use the same uh, sort of tool that I used before, let's actually select a brush. I'm gonna use something like this in a new layer. I can bring in the radial menu that I also use in ZBrush, and I can click on precision mode, and you see I have this window. So now I can just go ahead and do something like this. And you see, you know, for the most part is, uh, you know, you, you have to get used to it, but you can do very, very precise lines, right? And then we just need to click on precision mode to get out of it. So hopefully you see that this is a very powerful tool, but it could also be frustrating. So this is the reason why I wanted to give you this tip so that you know at least how to set it up and try it yourself so that way um, you can decide if it works for you or not. Personally, I think it is very good. I don't use it as often, but sometimes it is uh, it's important to create like a very uh, straight line, for example, or something that has a lot of flow. So I use that precision mode in that case. All right, I'll see you in the next tip.